Do you actually know how big dinosaurs were? Yeah, everybody knows about the Triceratops and T-Rex, but what about the others? Someone sent me this video and they actually show how big dinosaurs were. And I'll be honest with you, but don't tell anyone, I've actually never heard of some of these dinosaurs before. And some of their names are extremely hard to pronounce. And I guarantee you I'm gonna mess up some of these so bad. Let's see how many I can get right. You think you can beat me though? Let's find out. All right, so this guy's about five foot seven tall, which is about my height. Wait, bro's name is Me Long. Bro ain't long at all. He's like 21 inches. How is it that the smallest dinosaur in here rose up with Me Long? I guess I can't blame bro though. He's trying to intimidate the other dinosaurs. Okay, Microceratops. That's more appropriate name at about two feet tall. Let's see if I can get this right. Archaeoceratops, 36 inch. Lystrosaurus, 3.3 feet tall. I know this one from playing Ark. Comsognathus. Is that right? Wrong. Why don't we just call it Compi? I'm gonna call this one Compi. Like a compact dinosaur. In fact, if this dinosaur existed today, some girl influencers would probably have this in their purse. Cynosauroteryx. Wrong. That's gotta be right. Bro, whatever. That one's too hard. Hoverraptor. That's gotta be right. Boom. Got it. Velociraptor. Those things are vicious like an oversized house cat. Protoceratops. Now that's one I've actually never heard of before. It kinda looks like a baby triceratops. <laughs> Homolocephale. Wrong. Bro, he's got me sweating on this one. How do you say this? There ain't no way I'm getting that right. Let's just move to the next okay. one. Lisa Thesaurus. Atrociraptor. Sounds like I choked a raptor. Is that right? Chirostinastius. All right, whatever, bro. Let's just call it Cheerio. Minmi. Hey, bro, that looks like a pangolin or armadillo. It's easy to pronounce, too. Minmi. I like that name. Hypocilophodon. I know I got it right. Bro, get out of okay. here, Hippodon. Pyroraptor. That thing's actually cool looking, but they're scared. Oh, Trudon. I didn't know these things were that big. Whoa, that's actually a lot bigger than what I thought. Colosserus. Col Why not just coal, man? That'd be cool. Oh, let's see. Unisaurus. Unisaurus? That's got to be right. Oh, come on, man. It's like whatever I think it's supposed to be, I need to say the opposite. Zalmoxus? Well, anyway, it looks like a kangaroo without a pouch, right? Kind of cool looking. Okay, now we're getting to the scary ones. Hererosaurus. You can even look at this dude and see he's gonna eat you. Sticky Moloch. Bro, bro sounds Russian. Dryosaurus. I guess he doesn't like getting wet. Oh, this one's easy. Gwanglong. He's actually kind of different. Kinda, I don't know that one. Okay. Um, okay, this one, give me a minute. Critanosaurus. Critanosaurus. Looks like a small ankylosaurus. Did I at least say it right? You want me to say that? This one's gonna be tough. Archaeonathemus. I don't even think the person who named it can say that, man. Dracorex. Man, that looks pretty cool. Check that one out. Okay, what's next? This is... Okay, this one is Zuniceratops? Did I get that one right? Yeah! Dionicus. Like Dion. Dionicus? Close enough. Actually, bro needs a pedicure. Look at his feet. Okay, now these are one of my favorites, and I know I'm going to get this one right. Looks like a baby Spinosaurus. Demetrodon. Wrong. What? How did I even say it wrong? Oh, I get it. Metra. Like metric. Like, bro must be from Australia. This looks like an ostrich with no feathers. So ornithomonymous. Wrong. I know I didn't get that right. Next is Struthiomus. Wrong. Kind of looks like the other one, but just a little bit bigger. I don't I can't even get that one right. What's his name? Wait, hold up. Let's just call it Fred. I might need a lifeline on this one. Okay, see you later, Fred. Gigant Spinosaurus. I think they just made that up out of nowhere. Like scientists ran out of names and just came up and just put two words together and put Saurus on the end. But bro has some pretty sick horns. Check those out. Elineasaurus. Wrong. Dude's got a limp horn though. What are you gonna do with a horn like that that's pointed down? Like rupture your lip? Bro, you want me to say that? Hyena Hyangonosaurus. Hyang Yang Saurus? No, I knew that I wasn't gonna get that right. Diablo Ceratops. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Diablo means devil, doesn't it? So it's like Devil Ceratops. That's actually kind of cool name. No T-Rex is going to mess with Devil Ceratops. Okay, I got it. Naruto Ceratops. Wrong. Wait, my bad. It's Nasuto Ceratops. Naruto. Presto Suchis? Presto Suchis? Actually, it looks like somebody pressed him down some. Like he got stepped on. Let's call him Presto. A Preston. Wait. Okasaurus. Looks more like a Zebrasaurus to me. Chunkingosaurus? That's a really lazy name. Come on. Chunking, bro? Really? Polocanthus? Like a lot of these dinos look the same. Like there's like four styles to choose from. Like, like this, Monoclonius. Let's call this one Bluey. <laughs> Bluey. He actually looks pretty cool. Pachycephalosaurus. He's like 16 feet tall. He looks pretty cool. If you gave a raptor an armor helmet, that's actually pretty neat. Uh, kind of scary. Kentrosaurus. I can say I've actually never heard of this one, but look at those stubby little legs. He can't move too quick, I bet. Chasmosaurus. Yeah, I'm gonna name this dude Chaz, or Chazzy, since he eats plants. Because Chaz sounds like a predator name. Okay. Chaz. Regalaceratops. Did I say that right? Like, if there was ever a dinosaur that looked like your grandpa, that would be it. Looks like he lived a rough life. Dude's probably glad he extinct. Nanotyrannus. Must be like a baby T-Rex. That blue color, though, it's kind of cool, but why blue? 
kind of different. Sorrel Pelta. Dude, it looks like marshmallows all over his back. Like, like a smorosaurus. Okay, let me see if I can get this. Monolophus. Monolophosaurus. Did I get it? Man, whoever cut his hair jacked it all up. Looks like that mohawk's like way in the front. Or is that how a dino would have a mustache? Styracosaurus. Okay, now this one looks actually really cool. Almost looks like those turtle skeletons off Mario. Scolosaurus. I kind of like this one. I think it's probably the tail though. Like he can probably beat you with those tails or beat other dinosaurs, not me. Gallimimus. Speaking of hair, now that's a cool haircut. I'm not jelly though. Okay. I don't know why, but that dinosaur looks smart like he can quote you Einstein's formula or something. Centrosaurus, I'm assuming they gave it that name since it has like one horn in the middle of his head. Does anybody know? There's no way I'm gonna say this one right, but I'm gonna try. Euplocephalus. Wrong. Hey, I gave him my best shot. Like I said, I'm a scientist, not an English teacher. Austroraptor. I mean, how many raptors are there really? This one has a really, really long tail though. Dilophosaurus. Wait, I didn't know dillos were that big. Dude, that's scary. I guess I've been playing too much Ark though. Alioramus. Hey, it looks a lot like a bird. Let's just call it Allie for short. Australovnator. Bro, really? I don't know whether to laugh or what. It's like a robot name's mixed with a country. I mean, sometimes scientists just aren't that creative, bro. But that dinosaur looks really cool being that dark. Keonzusaurus? There's no way I got it right. Now, this is something that looks different. Cryolophosaurus. He looks crazy with those eyelashes. Ankylosaurus. Okay, now that's one of my favorite dinosaurs ever. Ankylosaurus. And a lot of people like these too. Although I feel like we've already seen about 10 of these just a little bit smaller than like compact version. Warehouseosaurus. Okay, it's a baby stego. What kind of a baby? I mean, it's 23 feet big. I mean, that's kind of big for a baby. Taurosaurus. Like Taro the Bull, man. I can go with that name. Easy and it makes sense. Mud of what? Mud of Burrosaurus. Okay, man, whatever you say. Okay, look at this name. I'm not even going to try this one. How do you say this? Tojang? Tojang? Tojam? Tojangosaurus. How about Tojamosaurus? Bro, that one's crazy, though. Okay, now this guy looks happy, but I bet with that camouflage, he'll eat you up. This is Abelosaurus, right? Okay, Sin Raptor. If you put the word Sin and Raptor together, there's no way it's gonna come out like being a good thing in a dinosaur. You know it's gonna be bad. Pentaceratops. Whoa! That means he has like five horns. That's actually pretty cool. So is there one with like a Decaceratops? Ten horns? Because that would be pretty sick. Majungasaurus. Those arms though. I mean, why even have arms if they're like this big, man? Poor guy. <laughs> Metriacanthosaurus. You definitely want to stay away from a dinosaur with those colors. I mean, dang, dude. Go get a paint job or something. Tentosaurus. Tentosaurus. That's his nickname. All right, Tentos. That's his nickname, Tentos. Now that's a beast mode. Carnotosaurus. Even with those nubby arms, those thighs are built for speed. Irritator. I mean, the name kind of says it all, doesn't it? Kind of looks like a small Spinosaurus, though, doesn't it? Pachyrhinosaurus. Now, this is exactly the kind of dinosaur I would make if I ever had to build hybrids. Like taking a rhino, a triceratops, and a pachy. That thing is vicious looking. Uranosaurus. Looks like bro hit the gym really hard and kept taking protein shakes, but forgot leg day. Now this one I know, that is Allosaurus. I actually thought they were bigger, but 28 feet's pretty big. I mean, don't get me wrong here, they're still an apex predator. And of course, Triceratops. Everybody should know Triceratops. Megalosaurus. Okay, the skinny version of Allosaurus, but longer. Hey, we all got shapes and sizes. We like diversity in dinosaurs, man. Stegosaurus. I mean, it's a stego. Most people know it. Did you know that people said that Stegosaurus had a brain in their butt? That's actually not true, though. Gorgosaurus. I like the name, but I'm gonna call him George. Don't bite me, George. Baryonyx. I'm pretty sure I got it right. These actually scare me more than the T-Rex. Look at his hands. Like, those hands have claws, even though, he, like, the T-Rex has a big head and he's fast. This thing's fast with claws and a big head. Mesosaurus. These had like a duckbill type of head, and they actually traveled in large herds. Nigersaurus. Now, this dinosaur was actually found in the country of Niger. And by the way, saurus means lizard. Okay, let's see if I can say this one. Dasplitosaurus. Dasplitosaurus. I like saying Dasplatosaurus. Gives it more flair. To me, it means splat lizard. Albertosaurus. I mean, bro, it's Alberto. Everybody knows Alberto. Lambiosaurus. I mean, all Lambos gotta have some flair. Look at his head, man. This is Parasophilophus. Now, they made a lot of crazy sounds because inside their head was actually hollow, so they sounded like this horn sound that they can alert for danger. Shunosaurus. Now, those are pretty cool because look at his tail. He can actually club other dinosaurs. Corthosaurus. I look at Cory in a stylish blowout, bro. Armagosaurus. Now, I honestly have never heard of that one, but it looks really neat. Riojosaurus. His name is Rio, but look at his hands. They're gigantic. I bet you they were me for hugging. Okay, this one. The Rizinosaurus. Bro has the Riz. I mean, look at his claws. It kind of sounds like there is a Nosaurus, but don't tell bro that. Not with those claws. Iguanodon. They were actually one of the first three dinosaurs ever discovered. And they're pretty big. Tocinotosaurus. Another sin dinosaur that had hair. Sucamamus was like a fast, upright, walking crocodile. Kind of scary, isn't it? Okay, bro, give me a second to try to pronounce this. Yangchuanosaurus. These monsters actually lived in China during the Jurassic period. Dinocurus. 
That thing looks crazy like a serious hybrid dino. Let's see if I can get this one. Acrocanthosaurus. Olora Titan, another cool hair dino. The bigger they get, the cooler their hair gets, it seems. So this is Saurophilophus. Inside their heads was actually solid. Edmontosaurus. Now Edmund was another duckbill type of dinosaur here. Tarbosaurus. Now this was very close to a T-Rex, but not quite as big. Titanosaur. I mean, if he wants to call him that, that's fine, but he is kind of small for the giant plant eater. Gigantosaurus. Now some say that the Gigantosaurus is actually bigger than a T-Rex, but that's an argument to be made. And here we go. The Tyrannosaurus, the king of the lizards. Probably the most popular dinosaur ever. I don't even know how to say this, and I'm not even going to try. But this one looks scarier than a T-Rex, to be quite honest. And he's bigger than a T-Rex, too. Okay, Spinosaurus, probably one of my favorite dinosaurs ever. I think they're I think they're bigger than a T-Rex, but people argue with me all the time. I mean, they even have longer arms than a T-Rex. I know they would win in a fight. What do you think? Who would win? T-Rex or Spino? Let me know in the comments. Shang Sunosaurus. I believe these things actually lived in China. And they are pretty big, almost 50 feet long. It's actually almost the size of a Megalodon. Maminchisosaurus. Hey, I tried, man. I've never heard of this one. Probably one of the biggest plant eaters that I don't know about. Brontosaurus. Now, this is a pretty famous dinosaur. Pretty popular since they're so huge. But check it out. They're even bigger dinosaurs. This is the Camarasaurus. Now, the Allosaurus actually love to eat these things. Okay, this is a Patasaurus. We call him Pat for short. Pat is cool. Pat is big. Pat will step on you. This is Diplodocus. Now, these things were actually kind of short, but they were very long. This is Brachiosaurus. Now, this is one of my favorite dinosaurs ever. I mean, it doesn't hurt that he's massive, but look at his hair. It's pretty cool. This is Alamosaurus. Now, these things actually had armor on them. For a dinosaur that big to have armor is pretty impressive, like a gigantic tank. Seismosaurus. Now, some of people said that these things can actually get to be 120 feet long. Okay, this is Ultrasaurus. Now, the name fits. Not gonna lie. That thing is huge. Look how small this dude now. This is crazy. Look how big this dinosaur is. He's almost like an ant next to these things. The Supersaurus, 111.5 feet. That thing is huge, man. Sauroposite. Now, these dinosaurs actually deserve cool names like that. I mean, this thing is massive. Parotosaurus. Wrong. I don't know how to say this, man. I never even really heard of this one. And I didn't even think they were that many bigger than the Brachiosaurus, to be honest. Okay, look at the dude coming up to this one. I think this is the last one. Argentinosaurus. Like, it would even realize you were there. You're like an ant next to this thing or like a flea. That's crazy. Look how small he is next to it. I mean, they wouldn't even know you were around. How many names did you get right and which dinosaur did you like best? If you have cool videos you want me to watch, send them to me. You can join the Discord and I'll put the link in the description. Oh, and check out this YouTube channel for their comparison videos. Before you do, make sure you watch this one first. And remember, this channel is not my channel. This is your channel. I'm here to make videos for you. So it helps when you let me know what you want. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already.